Welcome or welcome back to Trouble with Tish. I'm Tish and I be Trouble and today we are going to be Trouble with another Wear Test Wednesday. Troubles on the mind, hands around your throat, out in open waters trying to stay afloat, remember to forget the future and the All right, another Wear Test Wednesday. Let's get going. I have a hard time figuring out which um, foundation I want to uh, review. Uh, so I just put them all on a wheel because it's just easier. So we're going to spin the wheel and find out which one we're going to be testing out. AOA Perfect BB Cream. Let's try that again because we already um, reviewed that one. We actually liked it. She Glam Skin Fluencer. All right, this is the She Glam uh, Skin Fluencer Full Coverage Foundation Balm, and we have the color, the or the shade Shell, and. I had gotten two of these because I needed to figure out which one was going to match me best. Um, so I shade matched to the best of my ability. Uh, this comes in 30 shades. It is 0.52 ounces for $8.49. All right, so the description is, get high coverage and an instantly flawless application faster than ever with a few strokes of a makeup brush. Our exclusive non-greasy formula is long wearing, adopting an oil in water emulsification system, which adheres to skin with a thin consistency. Our long lasting antioxidant formula features a 10 to 25 micron premixed powder using amino acid wrapping technology to resist oil and sweat for makeup that slays, that stays without dulling. The active ingredients feature sodium hyaluronate and uh, G Moist C Gel H. Fucus, ficus, <laughs> it's not ficus. Uh, fasciculosis extract to moisturize, talc and alcohol free. Okay, I don't have a good uh, track record with uh, balm foundation, so we shall see if this is going to be good for us. All right, we're gonna see if we can use a brush. All right, this is the viscous or the consistency of it. It's uh, very creamy. Let's see how we do with a sponge. Right off, we have great coverage. When they said full coverage, they were not lying. And I am just dipping my brush or my sponge in. I kind of have high hopes for this. This is, um, it's looking a lot better than I thought it would. This is looking very nice. All right, so for this side of my face, I'm going to use the BK Beauty 101. Okay. 
I do like the finish better with the sponge. I usually do. But we do add a little bit more coverage with the brush. So I'm going to even out the coverage with the brush. And then I'm going to pounce it out with the sponge. And I find that this method is what creates the best finish on my foundation. All right, I am going to zoom you in so I can show you what we are looking at. All right, close up. I have a little bit of uh, clinging here to dry skin, which is kind of normal for me. Um, clinging to dry skin here in the corner of my mouth. Kind of crawling into my lines here. Already bunching up in my or in my nostrils here. I'll just pat it out and see if we can't. Well, hopefully this warms up and melds into my skin. I'm going to uh, go put on the rest of my face and I will be back to let you know how the rest of my face applied. All right, so for bronzer, I used the ABH Cream Bronzer in Amber, the Dominique Cosmetics Cream Blush in a Natural Rose, the Aesthetica Starlight Highlighter, and I use that for my brow bone and my inner corner highlight as well. I used the uh, KVD Locket Powder in Translucent. I used the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Sanibel. My lashes are from my brand Lund Beauty in the style Luna. Uh, for my eye look, I used the Colored Rain Botanical. For my brows, I used the Real Her Defining Brow Pencil. I am inspiring. Uh, I use the Avon True Colors Glimmer Stick in Blackest Night. That was my eyeliner. For my lower lashes, I used Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. And then for my upper lash, I used the Urban Decay Perversion Bigger Blacker Batter. I used the Never Ending Gobstopper Spray uh, from Morphe. I think that's it. All right, so the makeup has applied decently. Um, I do have one issue though. I am constantly wiping my nose and every time I wipe my nose, I get a crease here on my nose. So if I wipe my nose up, there's a crease. So I have to be extremely careful. Um, it is still clinging. It's not looking amazing, but it kind of is what it is. I will check back in um, in the daylight so that I can show you what it looks like in natural lighting. Yeah, so far, so yeah. All right, I'll be back. All right, so raining. So we're not standing outside to do our daylight um, check in. So shade match is pretty decent. Um, it doesn't look great. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely not the best thing in the world. I keep tapping out my lines. They do tap out, but like, yeah, I am wearing my glasses on a rainy day because, you know, migraines suck ass. Anyways, so that is what we are looking like. Um, I will see you later on tonight for 
our final check-in to see how it wore and I do not have the highest of hopes for this but we shall see all right so let's see how it held up I'm gonna zoom you in you can see, I, you can see what I'm saying <laughs> all right so it did not fully say I, I said it I set it with the locket foundation or the locket powder and uh so but it's still it's tacky i got a little bit sweaty and it's tacky um let's okay i have lost almost all coverage on my forehead which is fine um between my eyes it's all patchy in the folds, uh, what do they call that? Nasal labial folds. It's all bunched up. Um, it is kind of breaking me out. And I'm not, I don't, I don't get broke out too easily. So we don't like that. Um, my blush, bronzer, and highlight are still intact. But that seems to be about the only place that has real coverage. Right here in the corner of my mouth, it has bunched up. But everywhere else, it does not seem to have done anything other than left my face kind of tacky feeling. It is bunched up on my upper lip. Let me see if I can show you. Here we're all up and personal here and see how it's yeah it's 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 gonna be I think a no for me let me zoom you out all right so for the she glam skin fluencer full coverage foundation balm it, it's gonna be a no I it's not it doesn't work for my for my needs um I mean, I don't imagine that it, it's going to work for too many people. I don't know. It just, it, it hasn't looked great from the beginning. I mean, in the beginning it wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great either. It was kind of mid-road. And there was the chance that it could, like, warm up and be nice. But it kind of never got there. And by the end of my day, it just kind of looks funky bunched up in spots and missing in others and full on there where my blush bronzer and highlight are but those are cream products so it's not like I had like extra powder setting it down or anything so I don't get it but I mean it could look worse but it could definitely look better it's not gonna work for me and I've been wearing it for it is almost eight o'clock so that would make it almost 10 hours. Yeah, almost 10 hours. No, almost nine hours, sorry. And um, just, yeah, that's one hour longer than a work day. And at some point in your work day, your base should look decent, right? <laughs> but it kind of never looked decent. It just kind of looked, it was there. And when it was there, it wasn't like amazing. So yeah, anyways, uh, let me know. Have you ever tried this foundation? Has it worked for you? Is there any other way that I could wear it um, or make it work? Let me know because I spent money on it, so I might as well try to make it work, right? So if you have any tips or tricks, you just let me know, and we will try again. <laughs> all right, I hope this helps somebody. Uh, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I hope every single one of you has an absolutely amazing day, and I will see you all next time. Bye. Troubles on the mind, hands around your throat, out in open waters trying to stay up.